I'm crossing my fingers that this comes up on its own. Just blows up out of Just the water. Just blows up out of the water. Yeah. Oh, look at all the oil in the water, man. That's gas. Look. Oh, that's gas. Don't light a match. I think we're stuck. Okay. Thank you so much for all of the support, likes, shares, and subscriptions. It's really changed my life. Apparently they wrecked up there, right, right between the guardrail and the and the. And this whole stretch of uh, road right here has no guardrail. Wow. So apparently there's wrecks in this river all the time. That's crazy. But yeah, the car uh, when I was here last, it ha must have had an air pocket in it. It was literally standing <laughs> on its nose. <laughs> so that's a very um, not safe situation. So I kind of left it where it's at. It's been a couple weeks. I mean, maybe a month. But so who knows where this car is at if it's still laying like that. But either way, we're gonna figure it out, dive on it, show the viewers what it looks like, and hopefully get it out of the water. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another brand new video of Depths of History. Nothing can happen for me. This is something buried here. Is it a shell? Conch shell? We can find anything. God bless you, man. I hope you find her, man. It's been an amazing experience so far with Adventures of Purpose and many other friends that we have here. This is a knife. Definitely gonna get the license plate off and we're gonna notify the authorities. Nothing can hide from me. So important that this movement continues to grow. And we really appreciate you being a part of it. In the depths of history. Let's do this. You're, you're the, you're in charge of the magnet. <laughs> the magnet? Yeah, you're magnet man. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another brand new video of Depths of History. Today I've made it out back to Oak Ridge, Tennessee, and we're actually at the same spot that we found Miriam Ruth Hemphill at. And believe it or not, about a week later there was another car that crashed in this very same spot. About 200 feet up river, a woman lost control with her car and actually crashed it into the river, and she actually reached out to both Jeremy and I to try to get all of her belongings out of the car. This includes her cell phone, a bunch of money that she left in the car and a ton of other personal items that she left in there as well. So I'm hoping today that with the help of Jeremy we'll be able to get this car floated and hopefully get all of the belongings out of the car to give back to her. We're gonna do some sonar, find the car first, and then once we find it we're gonna put a buoy on it and see if hopefully we can float it out of the water. Look how green the water is, you guys. I'm excited. Jeremy, are you ready? It's like really clear. It is. I mean, it's super clear. We haven't had visibility for the last couple cars that we've been looking for. And I mean, the visibility here looks pretty much perfect for the most part. Um, there's a little bit of algae, but it's creepy because we're in the atomic city. Oh yeah. So technically maybe it's all clear because there's radiation in it. <gasps> Radium. Our hair is going to fall out and I'm going to turn into like this weird monster. Good video. Good video. <laughs> Good video. <laughs> so here's the parking lot where Miriam went off of and she went off basically right where these rocks are right here, went about a hundred feet out offshore. And uh, Jeremy was basically called from a woman the other week who said that she drove her car into the same section of, uh, of lake that we searched for Miriam on. So. She told us that she wants us to go get her belongings and she wants us basically to find two phones and a purse that she lost in the car. Nice day too. A very beautiful day. Very beautiful. It's so beautiful. I might go for a swim. <laughs>
I guess when we go over the car and I see it on the sonar, Jeremy sees it on the sonar, Jeremy's gonna be able to get a shot of it for you guys to see, but I'm also gonna get the magnet and throw it overboard, try to connect it to the buoy, and then it's go time. We're gonna get the airbags lifted up, and it's gonna be a real sight for you guys to see. How fast is the airbag? 320. Yeah. It's not bad. It should be coming up on the right side of the screen, maybe directly over it. So in about, I don't know, maybe five seconds it should show up, if that. Should be seeing something right now. I see it. I think I do. It's like a little blip. Is that it right there? That's right there. Yep. That's now that looks now that looks like it's it's laying down. But it, it could does. It, it looks there, like there's a big shadow though, so it looks like it's laying down and those are the two wheels right there. Yeah, it does look like it's upside down. I mean now it's that's weird. Because a second ago when I went over it, it looked like it was it was balancing a little bit. It's easier. Just go down, rig up the bag, go back up. All right. It's gotta be it. I gotta be on it. Yeah, you're on it. You're definitely on it. All right, here, let me just, let me wrap it around real quick. Oh yeah, you nailed it. Like I can see, I can see the rope. I can see the car over here. Really? Oh, very nice. We got the car. <laughs> all right, now we got it marked. Now we got to go back, make some phone calls, regroup, get all the rest of our gear ready. Mark this happen. We're basically looking for two phones and a purse. So if we can get that stuff out before we float the car, that would be great. But if we can't do that, we're just gonna have to get it once we get it on the shore. We're gonna make a few phone calls, one call to a tow truck company, and we're gonna get this car out today. It's gonna be great. Help! No. Help! <laughs> These are pieces of shit, so do not pull on them. <laughs> like, they will break in half. Basically, as you guys can see, the plan for today, we've got two lift bags. Now, these two lift bags are gonna come out with these two little lines right here, these little hose lines that we have. They're gonna be connected right with that connector right there, and we're gonna be able to fill them from actually the top while we're sitting on the boat. This is just for safety and to make sure nothing goes wrong while we're underneath the water. And we've also got these two little straps that we're gonna wrap around the wheels. So we got the boat right here. We're gonna get all of our scuba tanks and gear onto the boat and then sail all the way that way to where the buoy is. We're gonna just see how it goes. I'm laying on all the gear. You see this? I'm thinking we each take a bag down right now, hook it up, and then see if we can find any goodies inside the car. So are we gonna hook up the bags yeah, now? Yeah, Might as well, it ain't too hard. Just drag a bag with you. I mean, I got. How do you hook it up to this? Put it through a wheel. Oop. Then just the strap, right? Yeah. Yeah, just put the strap through, through like through the spoke or something, and it should be enough.
All right, so Jeremy and I are going out. I've got my lift bags right here that we're gonna use to blow this thing up. You excited, Jeremy? hook it up and then he's going to go down with the hoses hook all the hoses up because i have no idea what to do with the hoses i'm going to put this other airbag on the same side but back wheel so that way we can kind of get the car on its side when it's lifted and won't break out the windows. In theory, this should work. So Jeremy went down there with both hoses, hooked everything up. I'm crossing my fingers that this uh, this car just comes up on its own. Just blows up out of just the water. Just blows up out of the water. I'm <laughs> nervous, that was a lot of work. All right, let's see here. All right. Here we go, I'll see what happens. Here we go. I hope there's no kinks in the line. That'd be the worst. Oh yeah, I see bubbles. Yep. On the car? I see some, yeah, next to it. Yeah, right next to the buoy. Oh, there it is! Oh my god, it, it worked! 
It no, worked. It didn't. It didn't? It looked, well, there's something on that back. Yeah, oh yeah. It worked, man. It worked. It's up, man. Oh, it's working, dude. All right, we gotta roll. <laughs> Let's go. Oh God, dude, we gotta, it's floating down the river. I know it is, man, we gotta roll. Get in. <laughs> oh, look, your, your, look, your paddle. So basically, it's I got the paddle back. <laughs> listen, it's going as planned, man. It's heading going, right where we want it to. It's literally heading right where we want yeah. it to, so. I can't believe this is working, man. This is crazy. We just floated a car and we're floating it all the way down to where it needs to be towed. Looks like everything is going as planned and now we just gotta collect. All right, let's grab the line, the grab hoses. the air hose. Where it sinks. Oh! Look, I can see the wheel in the water. I see red down there. Yeah, I can. I can see a bunch of red down there. Got a lot of hose, dude. <laughs> Well, you guys, I cannot believe it. We were able to float that car with two lift bags, and I honestly thought it was gonna require a lot more, but we've got it floated. We've got a black line that is running up to the shore, and I'm about to go back down into the water, hook it up with two J-hooks so that hopefully they can bring it up to the shore with no problem. There we go. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna twist it a little bit so it will come undone. Just walk in the car, you know, nothing, nothing unusual. Big deal. It's pulling. We don't want to float away. All right, we're reeling her in. It's gonna run aground here pretty quick. Actually, it'll stay on its side. Now we got a group of people watching over here. I know, right? <laughs> Bam! Nice. I mean, it's here. It's here. <laughs> Good job, man. I can't believe that works. <laughs> The front end's sinking though. Yeah. Whatever. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, we I got mean, it. We'll be able to get it out now. Oh yeah. So now we just need to call the uh, the wrecker. The wrecker. Oh, they I, I talked to somebody earlier, and they said call back when we're ready uh, for a tow truck. So I got it. I got it to the shore. So now, if we can get a tow truck here, we can get out of the water. All right. We just called the tow truck company and they're gonna come by and hopefully we're gonna be able to hook this thing up Get it out of the water and get all of her belongings out of the car And we plan on going on more trips to clean up cars and take them out of the environment because that's really what should be happening These cars shouldn't be in the water for over 20 years And you know when we're able to find stuff like this and get it out of the water It's just not only fun, but it's also cleaning up the environment as well. So while we go out there and tie the rope up to these bags, Kevin's gonna be watching my stuff for me. I really appreciate that, man. All right, so Britton's going out right now. He's gonna hook up the tow line to the, uh, to the I think it's the, I don't know, it's one of the wheels, but uh, theoretically this should come up on its wheels. So fingers crossed, let's see what he can pull off.
Damn. Was that easy? That's probably the easiest car rig ever. Here we go, you guys. All right, so it looks like the car is finally coming up. Uh, it rolled back over on its wheels, which is cool. Dude, seen better days for sure. Dude, all the, none of the windows busted out. Like, all their stuff still should be in there. Her phone's apparently in there from what Jeremy's saying. Finally, he got it. Save the bags. There she is. Well, there you have it. We just got it out of the water. So now what we have to do, we have to go inside of the car and basically see if any of her personal belongings are inside. I know she definitely wanted her phone and also her purse and a few of her other belongings, so we're going to take a look inside now. A little bit of Bondo duct tape up front. Should right. be as good as new. <laughs> Should be good as new, man. I guess it'll be up to her to claim everything that she wants, but I'm just so glad we were able to get this out of the water and clean up the environment. Again, if you'd like to check out more of my car retrieval videos, I will have them linked in the description below. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all of the support, likes, shares, and subscriptions. You guys, I it's really changed my life, and it not only you know makes me want to just make more content for you guys, but it also makes us you know want to go out on the road and you know stay at different locations to try to help solve different missing persons cases and a ton of different other things that we're searching for. Thank you, man. Huge thanks to Quality Towing. So, uh, <laughs> I, there, but, like, yeah. like we told you before, anytime you guys are in town doing your thing, just give us a shout. You know, we're at, we're here to help everybody out as much as we possibly can. Awesome, I appreciate that, sir. Thank you very much. We really appreciate that, sir. It's no problem. I guess I'll just tell the lady, like, if you want your stuff, go go see you guys. Yeah. 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 Just, just let her know the car will be down there. She can come by, see us, get all the stuff out. Cool. But look through the car, uh, see if we can see things out. Sell okay. them or not. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck, and we'll see you guys on the next video.